And we're underway now. The sprint off the line. Sven Nace, you'll notice there on the left, wearing leg warmers. A few riders choosing not to. Lars van der Haar really powering away, but it's Vogt van Aert who, as they screech past me underneath the commentary box, who goes first round that right-hand turn. The youngsters really do open up the gas very, very early off that start line. They've got such strong starts, and it puts the older riders in some trouble. Val van Aert trying to accelerate a little bit. He does not want Sven Nace to uh, race across to the leaders, but that's about to happen. He just looks like he's got the measure of this course today. He spent so long today warming up. I watched him. He was still out as the women were coming to the start grid. And he is almost on the wheel now of Van der Poel. The crowd are loving this. And if he hits the front of this race, everyone is going to go completely wild in uh, Cuxeda. He first won this race in 1999, where he beat Bart Vellens and Adri van der Poel. Right now, Adri's son, Mathieu, is... Uh, just behind Sven Nace in the World Champions colours, but as we go out of the pits, Val Van Aert is going to be on the wheel of uh, Sven Nace. What's happened to now? Sven Nace has attacked Val Van Aert. I don't know if Van Aert's got a problem here because he looked down at the back wheel. Has he got a He's got a rear wheel puncture. Val Van Aert's uh, punctured rear wheel. He just maybe at the right time, he goes into the pits, gets a bike, nice clean bike for Van Aert, but terrible time to puncture. Back here to Kevin Powles. Not quite on his top form yet. As Sven Nays goes down that bomb hole. Behind him, Val Van Aert, is he cracking or is he going to come back? Oh, big mistake there as he could, took the right foot right out, went right out behind him. He's giving it everything he can. Now, Val Van Aert has come back, so he must be thinking of an attack at some point to try and get rid of uh, Sven Nace. He doesn't want to take him to the finish line if he can. Charles Porcel, if I see Sven after this race, I'll tell him not to retire. This is impressive. Those of you who are sitting at home, I know loads of you sit on the turbo in the wet conditions of the European winter and just enjoy the racing. Well, this one is one of the good ones. Kevin Powles, Lawrence Sveek, Tom, Tom Mews and going for third place to try and get themselves on the podium. Not far until the end of this race now. Get yourselves ready. Who is going to win this? Is it going to be Van Aert? Is it going to be Sven Nace? Van Sven Nace was a long, long way back until he put in a 7.38 lap, the fastest lap we have seen of this duo so far. We're on to the little wood section. Sven Nace now wants the corner. And uh, Val Van Aert is going to the left-hand side of the road. He's looking for the track that he wants. Sven Nace goes on the inside. He wants that one. One. So he does. He doesn't want to let the youngster go through this corner first. They are going either side of the track now. It's a drag race through the mud. Sven Nace using the power. He has the lead now. Van Aert there. They go round the right hand corner. Sven Nace now accelerates hard in towards the finish line. Look at the teeth on Sven Nace. He looks around. He's broken the youngster. Sven Nace wins in Coxider. What an absolutely incredible day in the World Cup. He hasn't won since 2012-2013 season and he wanted that one so much. Cyclocross does not get much better than that. In a really, really hard race. <clears throat> Cold, mud, technical and uh, I can win uh, with an acceleration in the last uh, two, three hundred meters. That's, uh, that's crazy uh, in my last uh, season. Sven Nace wins his 50th World Cup and look what it means to the fans.